Hello everyone and welcome to this amazing view behind me. If you've been following my videos, you know that I have been traveling to Georgia. Yes, Georgia as a country which is right below Russia. Google it and you will find it out. So, I have been on a road trip since three days now. Yes, this is I think the third day, yes. So, anyways, the, the first three days were in Tbilisi and then the next couple of days I've been it's been a couple of days we've been on road and we've traveled to different places called as Kakheti and especially in Kakheti is is a region in that there is Lago Deki after that we came yesterday checked in yesterday last pretty late at night in this this amazing beautiful and stunning place called as Stephens Menda and it's called Stephens Menda and it's particularly in Kasbeji, which is pretty much the top end of Georgia. Now, a few things because this is an automotive channel. So, the first, first, and the foremost thing that I told about Tbilisi was it was big on German cars, especially BMWs, and also plug in hybrids, electric cars. In fact, I have been driving a Prius myself, and it's been fantastic for now. And it's gone through a lot by the way it's done some off-roading and uh, quite a lot of things let me tell you we are just exactly that road leads to russia which is 11 kilometers from here yes that's how close we are from russia so stephens minda is actually a place in terms of cars you have a very popular car called as mitsubishi delica yes and you would find it everywhere so especially this region is hilly so for that reason this car fits perfectly and i i was wondering why this car was famous but then when i saw the region and then why it's so popular it's got more seats and it's much more viable as a commuting option so this is a proper 4x4 it's kind of a van on stilts anyways that's about it and I'm gonna get y'all a tour of my Prius, which I haven't done, I've realized. So I'm gonna head over to my hotel to then enjoy another B-roll. And then after that, I'll be showing y'all the Prius, which is, do not have high hopes, because it's a 2006 and pretty beaten up. Not exactly beaten up, but kind of used and a little tired version of the Prius. Anyways, let me show you that after this. hotel where we are staying and just behind me that one is the fancy hotel and look at the view everywhere sorry about the sun but behind the mountains and pretty much wherever you look around there are mountains and mountains well that's the so this hotel is called as alpen house it's a german name so hence the german flag and we've been staying here for two nights and it's been a brilliant stay and just about everything was perfect now you won't believe but the time right now is seven and it's bright sunlight so the sunset happens around nine ish out here yes and the sunrise is pretty early which is about five so i think about eight hours that's it Yes, eight hours of night. And if you are thinking, why, why am I wearing a hoodie right now? Because the temperature is currently 11 degrees. Yes, it may be bright, but it's pretty, pretty cold out here because of all these snow clad mountains around me. And look at that. Look at my view. So I am in that room and the view is basically all of that behind me with the city far into the side and it looks magical at night now the main thing is i have my rented prius 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 whatever it's called 
parked out here and I'm gonna show you a walk around and there is something special around in this car park and there are two more cars in this car park which I'm gonna show you so here is my 2006 Prius looks a little tired of course because and if you look there are signs of my off-roading that we did and this was quite a great car otherwise and that's me my shadow and if i walk around there are no badges pretty much all the badges are gone and it's a pretty clean car and i'm pretty sure they've been maintaining the car as well and to show you all the key get ready to see the key for this car yes that's the key to this car and if you okay let me go to the other side because it's a little dark out here it's too bright actually so let me show you when i unlock the car yes did you see the light it works and that's the lock so you have to memorize what is it and don't worry the key works at least up to now so let me tell you, show you an inside look of the car again more of the off-road excursion oops so that's a decent bit of a car for quite a good price that we got if you've seen the Prius so that's your main dashboard and then there's completely nothing around here which is quite plain to be honest there are some burnt not done by me but yes some the the the, the cigarette marks out here which was already there before we rented the car and you can see how dirty the windscreen is yes i badly need to get the car washed and that's about it i think and it's got a decent boot space if i show you oops it won't open even the tailgate is a little loose so yes you can easily fit two big bags and the other bags go into my front seat now another special car was this it's a little old porsche boxster and uh, i think it's a 2007 or a 6 it's just arrived today and another one there are some mercedes estate honey class but look at this it's a bmw 3 m3 or apparently an m3 badge and maybe a body kit around and check this out it does have an m badge but i don't know how how original it is an m m car but also it's got a rooftop luggage handles where you can fit obviously the roof box so you can put all your stuff there now i was talking about delisa or the mitsubishi delisa or delica whatever i i don't know how to pronounce it or maybe i may be wrong or who knows anyways delisa so this is what i was talking about and okay so georgia has this thing that you can drive either a left hand drive or a right hand drive car doesn't matter any car you can get it registered out here but look at this how high it is it's a perfect 4x4 and it's got about six seats i don't know if you can see but check this i can put my hand and still there is space so it's got quite a quite a space on there so a situation update this is not a m3 as i predicted this is a 330i and that is not a rooftop box but this is something for the ski now this i spoke to the owner luckily he was around and i asked him if this was his car and he said yes and then it went on and i discussed everything about his car now tomorrow we are heading to borjomi which is about four hours from here and i better rest because we've done a lot of hiking today which was about seven kilometers eight kilometers up and down so yes that was all the way on those mountains so 
I'm pretty tired and exhausted. A couple of more or maybe one video more to go before we end up in Batumi. And I'm gonna make sure to video that as well for you guys. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come. Until we meet next time. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.